Hi, it's Dr. Pryor, and today this video, I'm going to be talking about why you need to change your antiperspirants. And that is because the most of the antiperspirants in the grocery store are made with aluminum. And aluminum does a great job at drying, but aluminum is a toxic heavy metal and any amount in the body is toxic and yes little small doses of it get absorbed as you wear it under your arms okay and many of you know i am a als expert i have been studying this disease for years and people that are susceptible to neurodegeneration and that is apoe4 carriers that is people with any mutation that has been linked to ALS, we have a problem with aluminum. And we know this because they studied these foci or groups of people with high rates of ALS and what they found was that many of these people had high amounts of aluminum in their neurons. And I'm gonna read this from a book on ALS and FTD. Basically, they found studies suggested that calcium is linked to the disease process and all three foci reports of low environmental levels of calcium and high levels of aluminum and began to appear around the time the ALS was high. Okay, and basically they found in the neurons they found aluminum yeah and that led to widespread neurodegeneration and cell death okay so as you see you have to get aluminum off of your underarms and at a later date, I will talk more about other ways you're exposed to aluminum, but it's an environmental toxin. So what you first got to do is get it out of your antiperspirant and deodorant. And the nice thing is the market has come up with a lot of solutions. Yes, you're going to have to try through the deodorants because some of you will react to the bicarbonate. Some of you will react to scents. Yeah, but you got to try. And these, I use this one, Dr. Till's Aluminum Free Deodorant with magnesium and coconut oil. Okay, that's the one I use. But my sister-in-law had to go through many to get hers. She tried this one. She tried this crystal one. This burned her arm, underarms. And she tried this probiotic one. None of these work, but she finally found one that she liked. So guys, just give them a try. Find the one that works for you, okay? But that's all my video is about today. I love you guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Okay, and I am susceptible patients, and if you could like this and you could subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Okay, bye-bye.